for people most likely to visit, the second most influential factor after having enough time to do it is the reputation of the place. So we've done a lot about our reputation. People are getting most of their information from, email, from the web. That's the top medium. So we renovated our website as part of our relaunch of the renovated aquarium and it's really cool. We've also seen that social media are becoming more and more important. In fact, social media is the second biggest source of information for people and it's growing the fastest. And that's been in some ways the most challenging for us, partly because it's very labor intensive to keep social media going. So we're using volunteers. We have a, a great, really skilled woman who's gotten a bunch of high school kids together to create blogs for us and to start creating content. We do post on our Facebook page at least once a day. Uh, so we now have 10,000 Facebook likes. So it's a really great place to find out what's going on. The traditional media, uh, radio, TV, billboards, and um, print are still an important way to keep people aware, but it's a much more fragmented market, media market than it's ever been before, as I'm sure everybody in the profession knows. Uh, as a result, we've upped our spend in order to be able to have enough frequency to make it worth spending anything. Um, and, you know, we've had a summer, this summer we increased our, um, our recreational visitation by 15%. So I think it's been, you know, it's paid off. We reach strategies mainly by consensus after looking at the data and we're constantly evaluating it and reevaluating it to take the learnings and apply them in our next media buy and keep being a learning organization. Every quarter we, I meet formally with the whole staff and we do a lot of communicating there, ideas surface there. We've changed a lot. We've, have, we've got a pretty good pace of change going. That's always the hardest thing to, to implement is change and we're all working hard at it and I think we're doing it pretty fast. One of the things that I really believe is that more smart heads are better than one smart head for solving problems. And, but at the end of the day, you gotta trust your gut and you have to make a decision when you're a leader. In some ways it's better to make a decision even if it's the wrong decision than to not make a decision.